Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q4 of the bi-weekly contest 143, smallest divisible digit product 2. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one, just to be clear, I did not solve it during the contest. Um, I tried to upsolve it, but I mean, I did upsolve it successfully, which is great, but it took a long time, as you can see, just by the video length. Uh, the, the explanation probably won't be as long, but... It is a very hard problem with a couple of prerequisites. I think honesty is actually not so bad uh, once you know the answer, <laughs> which, uh, you know, uh, okay, maybe. But I, I was, um, I think I had the idea correctly, but um, but I, it just took me too long to kind of feel out the problem. And as a result, um, once I realized what I had to do, you know, it was already an hour after the contest, honestly. Uh, but, but yeah. Okay, so I mean, the, so this one is part greedy and part dynamic programming. Um, it's it's definitely very tricky. Uh, you know, I mean, not that many people got it, right? But but um, but I think once you get the idea down, it's actually not super bad and with much practice. But I I just kind of went the wrong route, and for this one. Um, there were a couple of places where I just made typos that end up yielding like tens of minutes. At, and if you watch the live portion, you could see them. Um, I think, I don't know if I would say that I, I should have been able to solve it, but it would have been much closer for sure. Um, but yeah, the, the greedy part is actually um, very, I mean, there are a couple of components of it, but it's still, um, you know, very tricky, but much more straightforward, right? The idea here is that one digit at a time, well, they're, they're yeah, the one digit at a time, you, um, well, okay, let, let me actually step back for a second. There are a couple of things you have to notice for this observation for this one. Um, one is that because we're dealing with digits, all the digits will have to be between one to, you know, from one to nine. So that makes that means that in order for them to be divisible by t, um, it has to be uh, t has to be divisible by one, numbers in one to nine, right? And uh, that that's the first observation. So once you do, and I probably have an if statement. Uh, okay, fine. And I, I, I had some typos before, but but yeah. So you can check that. Uh, I'll, sh I'll I'll go over the code. I, I know that I gave you a little bit of a teaser, but um, yeah. So that's the first part. The second part then it just becomes well. There are two for me. I there are two cases, uh, maybe three if if you want to count like a, a time optimization, but it's it's whether it is the same digit or same number of digits, right? If the solution has the same number of digits, um, and yeah, and as a result of that, you can think of this as um, and and because you're trying to get the smallest, there is um, this idea of greedy that comes in play a lot which is that you try this um the smallest thing that is still possible and what i mean by that is that you just try a digit at a time let's say that for here for num uh for this example one let's say that we tr we want to see if a four digit solution is possible and if it is then we just literally brute force the first digit is the first digit a one? Is it a two? Is it a three? Dot dot dot, right? And be, depending on states, um, you can, uh, it, it kind of goes in the different places, right? Because you're trying to make sure that this is bigger. Um, so there are a couple of a state, uh, there are a couple of states that you can go, right? For example, if you have uh, one, two, three, four, I guess I could just, uh, I'll, I'll even expand a, a longer version. Uh, what numbers are bigger than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Well. If the first digit is one, then it means that the rest will also have to be either the same or greater. But if the first digit is a two, then it actually doesn't matter what the rest of numbers are. In this problem, it can be zero because, well, you're trying to multiply numbers and so there's no zeros, but you get the idea, right? So you have twos and stuff like this, uh, but anything after it, it doesn't matter what it is, right? It will still be bigger than this number. And the same idea kind of works inductively, right? And what I mean by that is that, okay, well, if the first digit is one, the second digit is three, then this num the rest is up to debate. But if it's a three, then the numbers behind it doesn't even matter. It could be as big as small, it doesn't really matter. Again, it cannot be zero just f for this problem, but it is a possible, you know, kind of thing is what I mean, right? It could be all ones, for example. So, so first of all, that that's the that's the idea, and the reason why 
Well, it is a, a, an idea for attack, right? And the reason why this works is because here we're only trying, for each digit, we're only trying 10 numbers. And so in this case, it'll be 10 or maybe the number of digits if you want to be more precise. So if you want to say D is number of digits, which is 10, then an N is just the length of the num, then this is going to be D times 10 times cost of uh, check, right? And what I mean by check is saying that, okay, so this is actually a very common idea. So I may be going a little bit fast, um, but it comes up a lot. So you definitely sh should be familiar with it. And it is what I just said, right? So you check one digit at a time. Um, but of course, checking this digit, uh, and I call it walking it up. I don't know. I don't think it's a real term. I think it's just something that I tell myself. Feel free to use it and give me credit. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but no, no, no. But yeah, so we just kind of walk one digit at a time, right? But the cost of check is the key thing here because for this one n is equal to 10 to the fifth it's two times that even but but close enough right um but if you do if the cost of the the check um like basically we check uh what is the check right the check is to see if it's possible i kind of skim over this part as i said but like for example if we go one we have to do some magical function to see uh, whether the rest of the digit is possible given that if the first digit is a one um so, if it's not, then we try two, same thing, right? Well, so the check is just to ch check whether whether it is possible to use the re to uh, um, just f fill out the rest of the of the digits, right? So that's really the check, and then the cost of the check matters, right? If you if the cost of the check is O of n, for example, well then this is going to be d of n squared which is too expensive so here the cost of the check you want it to be like maybe o of one probably uh, maybe o of log n uh, even then maybe it's getting a little bit tight honestly uh, at least in python and at least on lead code because lead code i don't know choose bounds that are a little bit tight uh it is what it is but yeah so these are kind of things that, to think about right Uh, yeah, and for me, honestly, uh, this uh, led me down a path where I was like, okay, can I construct this greedy, right? Meaning that, okay, these are the number of digits that we used. Can we construct the rest in a greedy way? TLDR, no. <laughs> I spent about like um, probably close to an hour on this idea. So uh, just to also be clear, this part... So far, everything here is fine, and this is also uh, a greedy. This is also this is greedy. But I thought that you know, for the check function, I also thought that it'll be greedy. I mean, I didn't spend an hour f figuring I was greedy or implement just implementing. I was running into silly things. I was expo and I kind of honestly like make some observations that I could not have made without right. Like um, like I could not have gone to the the DP solution without kind of stumbling along on the greedy solution and one and figuring out why it was wrong. So that's part of the exploration just to be clear. It wasn't like I did it a wrong way and then now to scrap start over and then do it another way. I mean in implementation, yes, but in in the the way that you learn and exploration and figuring out about the problem, no, right? Like I, I think I needed to to figure this out a little bit. Uh I mean I think I could have also seen it, but um I think that my states were not like I didn't I I would not have been clear on the DP states until um, until I, I kind of explored the greedy solution. Because even the greedy, like even trying to do greedy right, I, I had to like do a made a couple of observations. And we'll go over some of these observations. The the greedy is not good. We have to DP, right? And the DP part is a little bit thing because you're like, okay, well, Larry, you said that cost of the check, you know, has to be cheap how do you know how do we keep db cheap i'll come back to it but but first of all um what are the states right well it turns out that uh there and this is these are things that i found out on greedy so they're only 10 digits right one well the the cool thing about one is that we can use this to pad our digits to, to make numbers long enough so so that means that we can we can always have a solution if the number if the input is 
um, if the input uh, input uh, factors are under ten, right, or uh, a prime under ten, even, right? Uh, what I mean by that is that, like, if you have say thirteen, thirteen is a prime, and if t is thirteen, um, <clears throat> well, th there's no answer, right, because there's no way to get thirteen in one digit, right, and nothing multiplies to thirteen under ten, right? So okay. So anyway, so that's basically a short thing. Here, two is just, you know, uh, these are observations. Two is fine, right? It's just a regular number, a regular prime, maybe. Um, three, also a regular prime. Four is interesting, right? Because there, there, are, there are two ways to do this. We can use two, two, or, a, or just a four, right? Which is a little bit, you know, uh, so, so that already is a thing that we have to consider, right? I mean... In this particular case, it actually doesn't affect the answer in the sense that um, in a greedy way, you want the shortest answer. But that's not sufficient, right? Because you can also imagine, like, for example, if if your um, your input is like, I don't know, eight and given, uh, let's just say two digits, if you have two digits, your answer is going to be, say, 24, right? Um, you can also imagine, but if it's the three digits, you know, these are your your number, then it's two to two. So it actually matters, um, but but you know, but these are the things that you have to consider when you have multiple fours, right? So five is a, a regular prime. So six is the tricky one for me um, because it is two times three, right? And we'll talk about why it's tricky in a second, but we'll just finish it up first. So a regular prime. 8 is uh, 2 times 2 times 2, so there, there are at least three ways to do it. I mean, there are three ways to do it exactly, but uh, I wrote that a little bit awkward. Uh, we'll go over, it, it relates to 2, right? Uh, with 6 is why. And 3 is just 3 times 3. Two ways to do this. And then 6 is the tricky one because then now, 6 is messy. Because then now, the num number of twos and threes matter to, to the result. And what I mean by that is just that, like, if you have, um, if your input is, I don't know, uh, 36, say, right? So six times six, so as the, as the T. And then now your other uh, number, uh, it, it really just depends on the number, right? Because if it's 2233, then the answer is 2233. Um, you can imagine, like, you know, four nine. The answer is four nine, forty nine, um, and and kind of some variations of that, right? Like you can you can basically f f like in like you can. It's hard to greedy this because you can force every possible solution. Like we want a six, uh, like six two three. Then the answer is six two three, right? Like, um, and you have to kind of consider all these cases. So you can. What I mean by that is that um, the numbers of twos and threes matter. But also how you use them, right? Like you can also imagine, like like I said, using a four, six, a nine. Um, if you have another two, you can even think about cases with eight and all these other things. Um, and all that depends on the other input of num, right? So, and you can force it to be whatever you like because it can be just exactly, right? So, so, so it makes the greedy um, way tricky unless you like. I don't know. I, I couldn't do it anyway. Maybe they're still a greedy, but, um, but I couldn't figure it out. The way that I did it is with digit sum dynamic programming or digit dynamic programming or digit DP, as people say. Uh, I don't like this name, but it is just the way that uh, I sometimes think about it. And the idea here is the same idea, which is that almost like a recursive way, uh, you know, for each di digit, we we know whether you know we we have the prefix. We just basically walk this entire thing the same thing that we have here, and except for that, in a greedy way, we just use digit DP to uh, check whether it's sacrificed, uh, satisfied. And the reason why this is fast enough because well, each DP state will be O of one after you calculate them. Total DP state well. We'll go over in a sec, and this is where uh, we we notice that we only care about two, three, five, and seven, right? So here, uh, 
Here we uh, sorry, I have to catch your breath. The number yeah, uh we have two, three, five, seven, right? Um Yeah, that's pretty much it really. But Man, I, I, I kind of lost my train of thought in a second. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really the, the core part of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's basically the idea. So let, let's actually um, just look at the code, I suppose. Uh, my code is very, very ugly. I'm not going to lie. Oh, this, this actually works. Just to, but uh, I, w I was just playing around with not using a shortcut. Uh, maybe you could do one without. It. I mean, some people do, so I don't know. But um, but yeah, this should be good. I think. Yeah, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I'm been lying the entire time. I got something accepted, so we'll, we'll pull that code. I don't know why it's now memory limited. Uh, oh, I guess we have this thing. That's why. Uh, I did take it out. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there is something that I still have to clean up a little bit, uh, honestly. But but this is a, generally uh, the direction. Um, I say this because it's really hard to tell on lead code because everything is um, depends on the input, and the input is like the sum of execution tests. Um, so I don't know. So it's hard to like know what your one worst case is, which is fair. But yeah. So okay. So all that said, the number of TB states we, we only care we only care about twos, threes, fives, and sevens, right? Um. So yeah. So how many can there be? So the constraint is that T is ten to the fourth, and we only want to factor out uh, the twos, threes, and fives. Uh, but of course, it can only go up to two to the sixty or sixty something. So I I thought that maybe in a naive way we can do it in n times number of twos. Um, and so forth, right? Threes, fives, and sevens. So that those are my states, and you have like things that track whether we care about the prefix. And okay, so I mean, I know that I went by that really quickly. So let's just get started on reading the code. Um, okay, yeah, let's start at the beginning. Um, yeah, this part I'm factorizing by all the numbers from two to ten, but this this will only be true for two, three, five, and seven, of course, because. By the time it gets to four, or the two would be getting out of it. So this actually gets gives me a frequency table of two, three, five, seven. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of have have one to kind of re set this to zero greater. Uh, yeah, greater than or equal to zero. Uh, I've looked up for factorization. I actually spent a bit of time here because I typed this wrong. But it's just about a uh, number of twos. Five, uh, three, five, seven, right? But yeah, uh, uh, of the factors, so you could see that this is two to the two, this is two times three, this is a seven, this is two, you know, two to the third power, right? Just lazy. And then here, I, I have this shortcut, uh, and so it turns out that if if your min is too big, then you can actually do this um, in a greedy way, kind of. Um, because basically now instead of like because basically this part is saying that uh, we don't have to care about the input num because the smallest or the shortest or the smallest number or uh, the smallest number we can create is already uh, already has too many digits so that's what this one is trying to do um, yeah and this is just a regular greedy way of solving it um yeah uh the only tricky thing in this case is that they're handling the sex um because yeah i mean it, you just have to handle the sex i think uh so the way that i handled it um is that i just try with a two in the prefix there are a lot of cases but it turns out that if you try one with the two in the prefix then everything else after that is forced because you can just do like math on like okay with if number of twos is odd or even after the, you know there are all these things but uh, uh, everything is forced in that regards um so yeah and then and 
the other way is just doing it the normal way where everything is forced still. And if you could do it with two, then everything shifts this in a way that it is the same, right? Or it is better. So that's really the idea. For example, you can imagine that, um, I don't remember the thing that happened. It was something like a lot of AIDS and then there's like a sex, or uh, uh, like, oh no, no, three and an eight or something like that. But you can imagine that this could be two and a six. Uh, uh maybe there's a four I don't, yeah something like this right um you can imagine that this is be better you, uh this is better strictly better than this one but they have the same number of digits so that's basically how i forced it that way something like this right uh yeah so and, and that that's the way that i kind of uh get for forced it and this is my get short function it's just very greedy right um you, you take an eight whenever you can because uh, you take an eight whenever you can because it, it gets rid of two digits or it changes three digits into one so you always want to do it uh, for getting the shortest um, and remember fewer digits is always a smaller number right and then now if we have this is just for fours and nines and keeping in mind that we get rid of uh, how I thought about it was that you always want the fours and nines because you could put the fours in the front and then nines a little bit later on um, but yeah but if you have a two then if yeah but then yeah uh, uh there's just that case that i talked about uh, hopefully that's the only case maybe there are more cases i don't know uh because th that's the thing with greedy is you have to prove them correct and i think i just proved by ac honestly but yeah but having one two now forces everything to kind of shift a little bit but it may make the string longer which is why i check to see if if the um uh yeah if the length is the same you probably could actually do a for loop here as well i think everything is basically forced because then now what this does is that it minimizes the number of threes and the number of uh so forth so you only care about one digit right and yeah if you have yeah i think that should be good i mean you could the way that i would prove this is by case analysis after the first digit kind of thing which is not great but that's the way i would do it but yeah uh and then we just kind of put it back together with this and that's pretty much it and it can only consist of um two three five seven uh and then also maybe four eight and six so that's you know and of course this will be in a sorted order because we already have all the digits so that's why it's written this way uh keep in mind that this is very ugly code so don't do it this way but yeah Anyway, after that, this is the the meat part of it. We'll go with the the part that I'm skipping. But this is the first greedy part of it that we talked about. Is just checking the same the, the first digit. Um, we have two things. I have a leading for a leading zero. The way that the reason why I have a leading zero is just so that I kind of um, I thought that I I could do like add a couple of padding zero so that you can kind of prefix some your way there. But it turns out it makes it a little bit too slow. So th so I don't use this too much. But but yeah, I mean, because I think leading zeros don't, because I think the only one case where the leading zero, uh, so the leading zero just allows me to kind of do the DP with one more number. Um, I think even with, um, yeah, I don't think you, can um yeah i think with more numbers it, it should be okay you don't need two leading zeros is my point you know if you do it that way you can solve it that way but it, it makes it too slow apparently uh but yeah so yeah and then here is it one digit at a time right if this is the same and same it's really the prefix right so that means that we're matching the prefix one by one so that means that the rest of the stuff has to be greater than or equal to right uh, one by one until the prefix is no longer true uh, and then the other case is just the leading zero um, i'm not gonna go with this date um but you can kind of work them out um this is just if, if it's a zero and is a leading zero then we, we calculate it otherwise we do Zero cannot be in the answer because, well, it just cannot be, right? And the reason is because no, no number with a zero will, will um, no number with a zero will um, be the answer because you multiply them and the product is zero, right? Uh, except for the leading zero, which is why we have it here. Um, I think actually in retrospect, it, um, I could have also just wrote if this is zero, um, if this is leading, 
we this does nothing. This just appends a zero, so we can actually just skip, right? So we can actually just continue. Um, yeah, if this is zero, we just skip. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, if it's not a, and, and we go to the next digit, right? Because it, it is a sad, it is a good digit to fill. Um, else. Else, if it's not good, then yeah, then we uh, or else if it's still good, the prefix, then we set the leading as equal to false, so that um, it cannot be zero in the future, um, and then uh, yeah, and then we just consider this number uh, uh, digit as the number, and we have a decrement function um, to just decrement the, the our frequency table. That's all this does. But yeah, uh, but yeah, this good function is the key part. It's saying, you know, uh, huh? This is wrong. That's why. I'm, how did this pass? Well, this I know why this passed. This passed because this is. Um, yeah, but maybe that's why this, that doesn't make sense. Did I, no, I think I didn't. Wow, that is weird. Wait, let me check this real quick. That is just weird, huh? And it still kind of got accepted. That's why, eh, okay. Who knows, maybe the solution is wrong and I have to like redo a video in the future. But, uh, but that was definitely wrong. Huh. Huh. If good, oh no 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 no! I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I, I forgot. No 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 no. Uh, I, this is not the one with the index. This is the index. I I okay. I'm just being dumb. I I forgot what my function did. That's what happened. So okay. So the yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it's been a long day. My apologies. And this video is very really long, as you know. But yeah. Uh, so the first digit is good. It's going to be good of um. Well, actually, this is the t head of the the helper. Is it's what I call my checker function, my satisfactory function, right? So this is the thing, right? So x is the current digit we're trying. Left is the the number of digits for the rest of the numbers, and then same is just whether we we have to keep the rest of the numbers bigger or prefix, right? Kind of thing, right? Um, Again, whenever I say prefix or same, it means the thing that we talk about with respect to like, you know, one, two, five, uh, or like, let's just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we have the prefix the same, it just has different rules for the rest of the digit, right? For example, we know that this cannot be a two, for example. So that's all that means is that we have to keep in mind that the rest of the digits have this thing where the prefix is the same. If if the prefix is not the same, even by one digit, if it's here, then here the rest of the numbers can be anything, which is a different set of rules, right? So that's why we have to keep this state here. Uh, but yeah, but that's pretty much what good function does. And yeah, it, this is the first digit, right? And if the prefix is the same, if it is, if the first one doesn't match, then now we know that um, it doesn't match the prefix digit or that uh, it isn't already. So then if it is the same, then we set it to false for the future ones. And then we only start with the current number plus one, right? Because now, again, in the in the one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight case, then now it's going to start with, say, let's say it is here, then now it's going to, or J, I guess, it's going to try to do five, right, to get the next biggest number and so forth. So that's what this does. Uh, if none of the, this works, then we just return negative one. It kind of makes you know straightforward because that means that you can't do it anymore. Um, if it does, if if the prefix was not the same so far, then yeah, then we just try it from one to ten. And again, this is the same case, right? Where okay, if the prefix is not the same, then the rest we can try. Starting with one, two, three, four, dot, 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 right? So that's really what we're doing here for this one. 
Um, so we have two functions to kind of go over. We have this deck function. The deck function is not that interesting, but mostly because I wrote it in a sloppy way. Um, but oh no, that, that's not the deck function. This is the. It's just the decommending function, right? So if, and I probably could have written this better and should have, but either way, this is what happens. Yeah, right. So if it's four, there's two twos. If we if it's a six, that we take a two and a three. So fourth, you can kind of you know. It is very ugly, right? But yeah, but this decrement is to just to keep track of the fact that if this is good, then we consider this part of the answer, and then we decrement it so that we use up things, right? In a way. Uh, and now the good function, as we talked about, is this uh, this thing, right? And this good function is not the dynamic programming yet, but uh, but it does actually do the decrement. I probably should have done this in a. I don't know. Like maybe I could have done like M for multiply, so do 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 right. And as a result, then now I could write in this as uh, this is like a double negative thing. So my my apologies, but you could do like deck of uh, F of negative one, right? So X def negative one, and then now this is oh no no no. <sighs> Double, I got four by the double negative, and then we increment back um, because we don't know that this is good yet, so we want to increment this back, and yeah. And now we have to, I mean, I, I guess I could have used the default variable, but I just want to make sure that I'm explicit this time, and I got it wrong again somehow. Uh, which, if you keep on getting it wrong, it means that it's a bad d d code design, um, but I'm just kind of, you know. Oh, now it's negative one for a lot of stuff. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Oh, I thought I fixed this actually. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Oh no, F and X. I did X, F and one and not F and X. I don't even know how this does not give an error actually or exception. Okay, well, that's crazy. Okay, so that looks better now. Uh, we even give a quick submit just to make sure that we're still right after we factor. This is, you know, in real coding that's called TTD, kind of. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, so this is a lot easier to read now. There's just decrement and then this increments back. Uh, we should have probably have used an increment function. It would have made more clear. But yeah, uh, and it, this just does all the thing about keeping track of two, three, fives, and sevens, right? Um, and yeah, and then we just calculate this go, we do this go function, and this is the dynamic programming function, right? So this is the checker, um, and yeah, and this is the dynamic programming. Uh, and here, we just have digits left is equal to digits left, uh, p is just prefix things, and then the other is just twos, uh, wait, is it twos, threes, fives, and sevens, right? So that's really the idea for this one. Right, for the DP. Um, not gonna go over it in too much detail. It is just case analysis again, right? So if there are no digits left, we, we make sure that two threes, fives, and sevens are zeros, and it's gonna be true and false, right? Pretty straightforward stuff. One thing I would say that in, in this problem, you're trying to keep, do a multiple, right? And a multiple just means that you can, the, the T is a requirement. These are the components that you care about. And you can think about that like, for example, if you have, say, uh, what is it? Like 2 times 3 times 5, which is uh, 30, right? That means that any multiple of them, any multiple of this number has 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 5, but it could have two. It could have two twos, two threes, and two fives, and so forth, right? And so, so for this one, um, yeah. So that's why I, I kind of keep track of all these. And the m function we call is just to make sure that it's greater than zero because it can go under, which is fine. Uh, and also numbers that we don't care about, um, you know, uh, numbers that we don't care about. All these will be zeros. Um, yeah. Actually, I guess n n every number always affects some something other than the one, but we we also test the one, so that's fine. And yeah, so then now there are only two cases: is the prefix. If it's the prefix, we have to check the digit. If the digit is the same, um, then we keep the fact that the the prefix is matched, and then we just subtract out the two, three, fives, and sevens. Uh, otherwise, 
we try the next numbers. Um, if we already did the prefix, then we just start from 1 to 10. This is again, or like we, I've explained it a couple of times, hopefully, you know, I drew this into your head about it. That's all prefix sum really is. Um, the hard part is noting that the 2s, 3s, 5s, and 7s are uh, enough. But yeah, I mean, you know, the prefix whether or not it's just that you have this thing and you have the current digit and whether it affects the rest of it and that's the states that you care about. And yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Uh, I hear my eyes are killing me. My apologies. I'm gonna take a nap, but uh, we'll go over the code. Uh, we'll scroll down the code one more time. But that's really the idea about this one. Oh, I, I skipped some. Uh, my my bad, my bad. So get small is just try to figure out the optimal ways for twos and threes. Um, I, eh, I I skipped this one. That's my fault. But the idea here is just yeah. Now you have. Um, uh, you have some twos and and threes. What is the minimum? Uh, what's the short uh, sh uh, fewest digits it's number you can create? Right. So that's really for this one. Um, if this is you know just testing out. Okay, let's do an eight, do a four, uh, uh, do a, uh, a nine and a six. Right. And then just in all combination, th this will you know figure out the fewer digits. If twos are zeros, then you have only threes left, so that's the base case. If threes are z zeros, then that's also the base case. Um, I guess you don't, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. So again, this is my well. You just looked at this code, so we, we uh, and this only appears at least for me at at my shortest greedy part uh, here, where we basically the shortest is just the number fives we have because you can factor out sevens and then the the fewest digits of two and three together right in some combination uh and from that you can if the, the shortest number that we can do is already bigger than the number then we just construct the answer from that which is what we have here in a greedy way again we we do try uh you probably could have done this with dp actually um yeah, you probably could have done it with DP because now you know what the shortest digit is. So then you just kind of do a dynamic programming based on that. But um, but I had it agreed. I had a greedy solution. It's, it worked, and that's because honestly, it, it was just because I started off with greedy. But I think you uh, you probably could have done a DP, and who knows? Maybe this will be wrong, and you need the DP anyway. Honestly, I wouldn't be that surprised. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the decrementing function. It's very ugly. Hopefully, you know what it's doing. M is always whatever. Uh, this is the dynamic programming po uh, code that we talked about. Uh, just keeping track of two, fives, and uh, two, three, fives, and sevens. Look how short it is. It is so. I don't know. I mean, it it was hard to write. Don't get me wrong, but I think once you realize it's not that bad, and if you watch the live portion, you'll see me like think about it. But but after I was like, no, this isn't that bad. Then, it, like, sort for everything. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, as straightforward as this problem can be is what I mean. Uh, and then the solve is just, uh, what this does is that, yeah, it just solves, tries to solve the problem for the number of digits. Uh, and this, we decrement it. We, we decrement it to try to see if it works. And then we increment it back in. Again, very ugly at writing it, but yeah. Uh, and these are the, the the state machine, which is that we have leading, we have the same, um, we have the answer. One, we try to get the the answer one digit at a time, uh, and this you know leading is just for leading zeros. Same is just for the prefix sameness, and yeah, and these are the states that you go through. Again, we already went over it, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then I, oh yeah, just in case I also strip out leading zeros because why not? You never know. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. The complexity is a little bit tricky, but yeah, but it's just the number of states here uh, for the DP, and this is just uh, n times. I think I that's say D or for range, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. I mean, I think the code, honestly, my code today for this problem. You can watch me solve it live, by the way. But it's, it's a terrible mess. Do not recommend it. Um, you can check it out, but like I said, I don't recommend it. But I hope that in going through it, you're able to kind of at, at least be able to upsolve it yourself and just play around with it. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. And yeah, you could watch me solve it live in the contest. Next.
All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Q4. How am I doing? Do, does this even update? Nope. Uh, oh, I have to do that thing. I mean, I, it doesn't really matter. I should really focus, but I want to look at my... I want to... But I'm also slowing myself down a little bit intentionally so that I could catch my breath. Uh, we also know what the, what the uh, thing is anyway, but I'm trying to find the leaderboard link. Um, it's not here apparently, but... But you can you do some URL, URL hacking. Uh, it's 143, right? So this is the leaderboard. I guess it doesn't update for some reason yet, but that's fine. I did get it. I did submit it, right? Okay. Okay, let's do Q4. No one has gotten it yet. Um, a lot of people has gotten the other two, though. I don't even know how it's out there. But, okay, let's focus. Oh, this is a different problem, isn't it? Right? This is not just Q1. Uh, Alright, let's read it first. And then the T, and then say, none of its digits are zero. This is a different problem. Alright, well, well, a number is zero free if none of its digits are zero. Okay, we turn a string represent the smallest zero free number that follows them. Okay. And nums can be some ridiculously big number. So it has to be a number greater than with the T. What's T? T is wow, T is pretty big. T is a long and hmm. hmm still not updated. Anyway. It's kinda of weird actually. But I'm in the right contest, right? <laughs> Anyway, um, hmm. What was this problem? Eight pointer. A part of this. Follow with its digits. Okay. It's divisible by this big ridiculous number. It's not the sum, it's the product. Okay, so one, two, three, four was the product. Let's try to do some you notepad know, things. I don't even know how to do this one at all. And the smart people have not done it yet, so I don't know. One, two, three, four, so then that's just four factorial. All right. 24, how do I don't? 24 256 uh, 256 how many um, can we factorize T do we need does factorizing T matter I don't think so it's just a multiple of T right so then for 256 With the product of digits, right? So what does that even mean? 256. Two fifty-six is well, two fifty-six is just two to the sixteen, is it? Oh no, yeah. No, you do want to factorize it. So two to the fifth. What is this? Ten to the seven is so high to factor though. Maybe because then now we got to the sixteen. Why is T so high? Ten to the seven is what? Ten to the seven is high. So, uh, for the square root algorithm, which is prime, what happens if it's prime? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's prime. Okay, because you every digit is only from two to nine, obviously, or one to nine. Well, 
So you can always just add one. That slip is actually helpful. Okay, so you have two to nines and then just one, so then you just do it. Okay, you factorize it by two. So th this is two to the 16. Is it 16? I don't know what it is. In less than way more. Two, two. Two plus sixteen is just eight plus eight plus four. No, no, no. Eight times eight. So it's two to the second. Well, yeah. Okay. So the only choice you have are twos and eights to shorten it, and then it's something, and then it's just a next permutation type problem, right? Okay, that makes sense-ish. Okay, that finally updated. Okay, so you make it shorter, same length. You can make it shorter by doing eights, and then after that is all next permutation, basically. Right. And a lot of digits. Uh, and what is the... Well, it, 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 there are a lot of digits, but it, it's all going to be ones, folks, because there can be almost 2 to the 32 or whatever it is, for, uh, even 2 to the 64 or whatever, okay. Uh, 64 is fine. So then... Yeah, okay, I think it's just beautiful. So that's, but uh, we have an hour, right? Something like this, an hour and four minutes. Um, okay, so then now we factorize T. Uh, um, yeah, uh, F is equal to da -da -da -da, from zero to nine, okay, and enough for, oh uh, yeah, for I. T well T okay. okay. Right. So then now if T is greater than one then we return negative one. Right. Uh, otherwise, this one was such a hint actually, but I didn't really read this one until now, but um, okay. And then now it's just all these two numbers. Only thing that I have to think about twos. Okay, so two, four, eight, and three and nine are the tricky ones. Three and nine is actually maybe okay. But so how so the shortest we want to do nines first. How many digits do we want? Two times ten to the fifth. So we want something that's either exactly the same digits or more than one, right? Uh, but that's so hard <clears throat> because then now you have to decide whether you want twos or threes to shrink in the next number. So that that is actually a hard part. Uh, no one's gotten it yet. So oh, someone did get it. Uh, I mean, you know, very smart people. Uh, so okay, so I have to choose between threes and twos. Can I do anything with DP?
Can I do a one number at a time frame? Right. What would a one number at a time frame look like? Okay, so that means that um, N S S A T S equal length of numbers. Right, so we want to try D, and then if not, then we try D plus one. Okay, so let's try D first. Right, so that means that uh, how would that look like? So we try one digit at a time, right? So So each digit is either tick or tick a two. Okay. So there are only two things, one digit at a time. So either taking all, okay, fine. The fewest and then the lowest, right? So okay, okay, fine, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, something like this, maybe. Uh, this one maybe is always possible if uh, maybe these are two different things because this one we just want to get any number Digits, right? Okay, so then now we have an answer. Can say for i in range of d. I guess this one will now it will always be the same length as nums. So we just literally take it one number at a time, right? So okay. Yeah. Okay. So for J, oh, and to find the first number that is, okay, yeah, 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 okay, fine. Actually, there's a, so same as equal to true for now. So then now, if num sub, No, no, we want to do a for loop. Okay, so for okay. J from num sub i, int of num sub i, all the way to 9. If, so we can use this, what does it mean by the, we can use this? If we can use this, then we're good. So then now enter that append j. Continue. Otherwise, we have to increment it. Okay, maybe I'll write this a little bit differently. 
if we're, all, if we're the same and good of int of nums i then enter that append nums i uh, and then we continue right okay yes otherwise then now we have to try a different number uh, well otherwise we have to try a different number uh, the two cases if same then we have to try it from this number up If we already did this, uh, if we did none of them, we turn negative one because that means that it's not possible anymore for some reason. But this should never happen, I think. Well. It should never happen, but well, it, it could happen, but only once. But yeah, so this would only happen for, if i is zero. Maybe I don't know if that's true. But how am I doing in time? And two people got it now. Uh, okay, otherwise we already changed it, so then now I guess we don't need to set G because we have this else statement uh, and continue anyway. Uh, this is not a continue, this is a brick. Otherwise we can copy and paste this maybe. So then now we start from z uh, of one, not a zero. Again, it has to be all the numbers otherwise. Okay, and then otherwise we can return. Um, do -do 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 -do. Something like that, but I know it doesn't work. I'm just kind of running because we didn't define good. Uh, okay, that's part of the hard problem. <laughs> okay, so then now we're trying this number. Right? So this number is good. How many digits do we have left? It's going to be D minus I. So if we try this uh, number and then okay, let's say we try the first number, right? So d minus i minus one maybe. Yeah. So that means that it is we try the digit with how many left, right? So. Finish writing this a little bit. Okay. So Okay. Okay, so 
we have left digits. Oh, we only have 10 digits, right? So, okay. Can we still... So, what is the max we can do? The max we can do is just sum of f dot values. Right? Yeah, okay. Longest is equal to this. Shortest is equal to... So we can longest we don't need to do this we don't need to do longest because we can just keep padding with ones so that's always possible but the shortest is going to be f of three uh, um okay so using x f of x do, 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 right I have to fix some of this actually. Okay, yeah, because this isn't quite right. This isn't quite right actually either, but. Okay, if x is equal to 4, then. We need two twos, okay. Uh, how many people have gotten it so far? This is lagged, I guess. Uh, I thought they solved everything, but apparently not. Okay, so if x is equal to four, then it is just um, an f of two is greater than two, or less than, if we were less than two, then we return fours, right? Uh, it's not great to code, but yeah, okay. All right, it's a, it's definitely yucky. Okay, otherwise, this is switch thing, but. Hmm. Right, so then now, eh, might as well just do it then. We will we'll never check one. Well, one is always fine. I don't. Eh, I guess with here, this is way weird, but maybe not. Okay, fine. Um, okay, anyway. Oh, six is weird, isn't it? I actually forgot about six. Oh my. I guess it's just a lot of if statements then. Yeah, I guess it's just a lot of if statements. <laughs> I was going to try to do something a little bit funky, but six. I guess six is the only one, really. But either way. Uh, okay. Okay, so then now, okay, so those are the four statements. So then now, 
we want to say okay so longest we can always just keep padding shortest we want to say um okay Shortless is tough, isn't it? Because it, what was the greedy principle here? The greedy principle is that instead of matching six, you always match the eights and nines and you have extras. But is that always true? Because you have three twos to one eight, so then now. Oh, the six is a screwy one. Let's say you have ten twos. No, you always want to do it that way, I think. I could be wrong. We'll have to double true. We'll just get a wrong answer if that's true. Uh, and people are good. Hmm. Uh, okay, fine. All right, so shortest is actually a little bit awkward. What's the number of threes and twos? You could DP it. You could DP it. There's only, remember, this only goes up to 60 or 70, right? So, okay. Three, two, and. Okay, I can do a lookup then, because everything is only. Okay, I, can, I see, I see, I see. So then now it's just twos and threes. Right, okay, fine. Okay, so then now, eh, this is gonna be yucky, but whatever. Let's just do it. And I stop trying to get, get it to look good. Now we're trying to get right. So then now it would be the shortest is just equal to f of five. Doesn't because it doesn't matter. Seven because it's also prime. Uh, okay, so two and then oh no, three is no good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. So, so numbers not not divisible by two and three. All right. So then now, um, let's move f of three, right? So then now left is the number of digits. So that means that if the shortest is still shorter than left we're okay it's okay so if left is greater than you go to shortest we are okay i think okay well yeah and then now we have to reword this okay <sighs> So then now we can either
So we have that number eight, two is my three, left, right, and then it's just left. Otherwise, we do a DP of um, yeah, okay. Definition this should be possible. Otherwise, one of them is zero. Right? Okay, I think we're good on this one, maybe. We have to do the negative five thing. I don't know why I would return force here. Copy and paste mistake, maybe. Okay, so i is not equal to zero. Right? Which one is this? 86. So this one. Um, hmm. Let's see what we got so far. One, we have two. Oh, I, I, I want to say if x is equal to one, we always. One, we always return true because it doesn't change any. Leafing, yeah. Okay, that's still well, but okay. So. Okay, let's see. I did actually need that, but I num t. No, so do, 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 t is one. Why is t one? I messed it up by accident. Oh no, t is one because we factorized it. Um. Hmm, that's actually. I mean, that's fine, but. We should apply it to a NTSUT just, just for debugging purposes, if nothing else. Okay, so T is 256, right? We can do F as well. Okay, it's 2 to the 8. I guess it, I see it saying 16. I guess I just. Suck at math. Two to the ten is a thousand. I, I think I'm just being dumb. But okay. Uh, one. Okay, that means that. Okay, so we put one as the first digit. Okay, we have to. I don't know. If we have to, but, and then we try to put one. Okay, so we try to put one. One is always going to be good. Then we go to two. Um, so this breaks, and then we do the next number, right? Yeah, right. Okay, let's just say. Well, well, this is the same, and if this is good. Oh, I have to write something like same as you go to not as you go to force in this case. That means that I, no, 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 not not yet. But here, um, yeah, I think here either it's right or you have to not do the same anyway. But okay, one digit. But why are we not trying ones? So one, oh, because it's just still the same, so you have to try two, okay. Is it two wrong? Yes. Four should be right though. Why is four wrong? Four, du, 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 du. So 
this is going to be minus 2, right? And then here, F shortest should be 3, right? Yeah, okay, so 3. We have two digits left after this one. We have, we need a. The shortest that we can do is three, which is this true? This is true actually. So this is actually correct. But then why is the four not correct? Do I not increment back? Oh, I, I don't in decrement for all the other numbers. Hmm, I am dumb. Of X. I mean, that's just wrong anyway. I don't know if this is enough, but... Well, no, that should... Hmm, that shouldn't change anything, I don't think, yet. But, okay. I don't return early, do I? No, okay. Shortest is three. Yeah, you can do a two there. Because then you still have three numbers to go. Okay, that makes sense because you have seven left, seven two left. Uh, but then the four two. Hmm. Why is this returning force? Why does it not? Going to here. Huh? Did I look at the thing more? It doesn't go here, that's good. Oh, 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 this is wrong because uh, this is an else if. Well, if x is in two, three, five, seven. Okay, I am a silly boy. Okay, so we have one four eight eight. Oh, because my one is always true. Is it always? Um, it's not quite right. One is always true. No, I mean, I think we can just remove that one, and maybe that should be fine. Um. Basically, we're skipping one is what that does. But uh, over four, we want eight, right? So, oh, this. Oh yeah, we have to decrement after getting the good part. So okay. Which is this part? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that's good. We take over. Now, is that good? Wait. Oh, this is 
now failing here that's why I don't see it we try every digit okay I'm on the half an hour hmm okay so we try one and a four and then the last digit's no good why uh because you don't decrement Larry Oh, because we we, we we wrote this function, but then we forgot to actually use it. So, tj, document j. Nope. Okay, so we have q1 and q2 maybe? Do I? No, this is, oh no, this is right-ish. Nope, it's not the smallest, that's why it's wrong. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we could debug this, that's fine. It's good. Uh, 355, 355. Oh, it has to be, it is exactly the same. How do I get a one in there? Because I do a five. Why is three no good? Okay, let's just see. Still half an hour. I think I'm okay. I mean, we're, we're in the right idea. We'll see if this is good enough for us to get through. 1480 is good. Uh, one, one, two, three is no good. Why? Did I just do the math wrong? Oh, 50. Oh, is the... Mm. Okay, I think this is the part that I... I uh. Okay, we have to change the function. Because... It is a multiple... Okay, okay, maybe th this is a little bit fun. I, I would, th basically my solution is that it has to be exactly um, 50, but not. Okay, so, okay, so it doesn't have to be a number here. It, it could be a smaller number that multiplies to a bigger thing, that's why. So that assumption is wrong. Well. Um, so that means the good function is kind of wrong. We can do this as long as... So that's more like a requirement. So it is a requ more than exact constraints. So none of these are actually false. In fact, none of these are false anymore. Yeah, none of these are false anymore. We can do all these. This could be uh mm, which is just called right. Yeah, whatever, let's just shorthand it. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. As long as we're still able to get the shortest to be true. Because those are the requirements. Okay, I think this is right. Um, Okay, self smallest. What does self smallest mean? That means the first digit is going to be a one and you're going to be forced, right? That's basically it, I think, honestly. Yeah, okay, fine. And then same as you go to force and then just everything else, but I don't want to copy and paste. So maybe I'll say same. Should be always the numbers always should be a one. Yeah, maybe maybe I don't need to write it this way. Maybe this is just return one plus this thing, and this is t minus one on odd one. Four is four, and that should be fine. We don't even need nums actually anymore in that case. Uh, okay, maybe, and then now we have to do a, how do I force it? Well, just do like, maybe, I don't know if that's actually true. Well, it's good that we test this, so, okay. I tried all the numbers. One one oh one oh six, so is this one. So we do print out this thing nine 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 T F Do I not increment it back correctly? What is this gonna be this thing? Fifty is two times five twice, right? So it's this thing, okay? We try a nine. I guess we never. Do we ever return false? Oh, I guess this is. Okay. What is going on? Why?
So we do the first number is what nine, okay? We have this left. Okay, no, this makes sense now. But then now it is no longer possible because the number is okay. Yeah, actually, because of the multiple thing. So okay, yeah, okay, fine. Maybe that's no longer true. It used to be true, but no longer true because of the multiple thing. Because it doesn't have to be exact. Okay, maybe you're right, Larry. Um, negative five. Oh, because we oh, because I defined this twice, even though I wrote it again. Okay, that's a good thing we tested because that that would be a very very silly mistake. Um, start by two five five. That sounds about right. In fact, you can probably do a greedy on it, but I think this is fine as well. Okay, let's remove some print statements, and then I think we're good to give it a go to get the wrong answer, and then we'll figure out the rest later. Uh, okay, still have some. Uh, uh, okay, one for double check. I don't know that I expect this to be right. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, this is. Oh, silly, Larry. Um, the answer is 5A8 anyway, so this is wrong. Um,. Because this is doing this thing. Um, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, this was dumb anyway. But uh, so R is equal to this thing. If R is equal to negative one, we return negative one. Yeah, what am I doing? We have twenty minutes to go. Okay, um, put this one in there. This is negative one, which is not good actually. Why is 588 no good? Okay, so 320 is going to be this thing. We what is 320? 32 times 10, so um, 64 times 5. So that's 64, this is 5. Um, and then we turn negative 1, why? Oh, because I tried the 0. Wait, do I? Well, yeah, that's what, no, that's not what that means, like, so the first digit, three, T. so we try one, two, three, four. it should be a five should work. A five should work. Okay, two twenty. Oh, that's mm. okay. Oh, and I try one more digit, which I guess doesn't, I don't know. This should still work though. I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay. So here we try a five, two digits left with six. Why is this no good? Oh, wait, no, I look at this one. One digit left. Okay, so you have this thing. Oh, I tried to put a one, maybe? What is the first digit? No, no, no. The, the wrong case, Larry. Okay, focus. Five. Shortest is going to be two, which is true. Yeah, six, right? Uh, left 
So we have three digits. What is T? Did I do T wrong? This T is not the same as... Oh no, no, it's fine. Okay. D is 2. Why is D 2? Oh. Oh, I was wrong. That one digit is not, the next digit is not always 8. Okay. Okay. I Wow, I misread the input. Okay, so th that took 5 minutes to debug, which is actually not great to even look at it, I mean. Okay, so this is wrong, um, which is fine. But okay, so then what we actually want is um, uh, okay. So then now we have for okay. We just try every digit. Uh, so if we try. No, this is no, no, no. You want the full, right? The one with the loop. Uh, okay, I am just being dumb today, but that's fine. That's actually, I mean, that's fine. I, that one I don't really worry about that much. Uh, I just kind of lapsed. Okay, so then now we try, try the one. Um, this is gonna be t minus one, which is what we had. Uh, false. If this if this is true, okay. Well, R is equal to this. If R is equal to negative negative one, we continue. But this changes to F, I think. So we have to be. To, yeah, I think this changes F. Oh, that's fine. We can just redo it. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, we can just redo it. Okay, and then we continue. Else we return negative one. Otherwise, this is good. And if this is good, then we can return um, j plus r. Okay. I thought that the, the next one would always be. This isn't yet, right yet, though. Yeah, I don't think this is right yet, because then now you can, this leaves open for a lot more digits. This is just me doing. Oh, that's so hard though. Uh, okay. This isn't right though. I also copy over that one. Okay, I think I get it, but I don't think I got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna submit it, but I think I see a case where I'm wrong. Oh, this is what? Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, I don't need to do it this way. Uh, this is self, not good. I think I, this fixes it for this one, but... Self... Doo -doo -doo. Oh, so wrong, but oh wait, slightly less wrong, maybe. 
maybe. Yeah, I don't think I'm solving this one. I've, is this is I'm just still one big case. I have to figure out how to do. Yeah. Okay. So five. We want to remove it from the requirement. So we want to do this, and then we that command J, which we don't have here. Yeah. And it becomes DP. Ah, 458. Is that right? I mean, it's not right, but why? Okay, we try a four. Still have extra digits, right? Why? Why is the shortest one? Why is this just not printing anything after that? Four, five, eight. Oh, because it's putting here, but then the good function. Why is that not printing? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Five. Okay. And then an eight. But there should be six, right? So we. Oh, we don't. F is equal to. Copy of this. Should be four, eh? Hey? Why? The command J four we took man two and that's why why come on Larry <sighs> is this after document I guess so oh yeah it's because I'm reusing these things and this reference I think ch changes with this reference I'm being sloppy Okay, back to negative one, which is also not great, but okay. So we have this thing, so that's good that it that doesn't work. This 
for three digits left, right? D. I can't even get this right, even though. D plus one, right? Yeah. Uh. Like I feel like I'm close, and then it's just become DP, which I don't even have time to think about. Um, I'm just debugging. Five. This is right for five. Okay, yeah, this is right for five, but then why is it not right? Wrong. It just tries to do five, five. Five eight. Uh, this F is also different. Oh, I see. Because this is ah, uh, I got it. Okay, but but that's still not good enough, I think, because you could do something like that, and then it. Returns negative when you know there's clearly an answer. Um, it's just a very big answer. Um, okay, so that means that we can do the shortest. Okay, I see. Maybe we we still got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If shortest is greater than you go to length of if it's greater than length of nums, then we just return um yeah. Um okay, maybe we got this, I don't know. Fives uh okay, new F uh new new F is you go to Whatever, zero times nine, right? We want we want it greedy for okay. So the six, do we want a six or a four and an eight? We always want a four and an or four and a nine. Okay, so that means that we always want to bias toward the shortest digits. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, well, yeah, and then well, F of three. Okay, and then now, uh, yeah. Uh, three minutes, all right, focus. Time ran out of time. From one to ten, why would I? Okay. Okay. 
Uh, is it right? I don't know. But I gotta take out these print statements in case they mess me up. I have about a minute. Uh, I have some s really small print statements left. I think I have one more, but... Okay. Uh, that's YOLO. Still probably wrong, but I think this is a good try. I feel like we did enough. Uh, okay. I mean, this is so close. We have to do... Oh, so there is a, a thing where you bias toward getting a 2 instead of... Oh, man, this is so hard. I'm going to upsolve this, but... This was a case that I was worried about, and this is where you do a DP instead, I think. Um, but if, and if I have like 10 more minutes, I should be able to do it. So let's do it then, all right? Uh, yeah. Uh, we were so close. How many people got this one anyway? I think we were close, but, um, but, eh. I mean, I'm fast enough on the first three anyway, but still. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did agree greedy because I, I ran out of time, honestly, but I, I did foresee maybe that this is the case, but I just ran out of time, so I had to do greedy. But that's, uh, yeah, okay. I mean, we're not going to solve this. Okay, well, now it's done, but, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this thing I only had to get away quickly anyway, but, uh, okay. So you want to do a six instead of an eight. That is tough. How do you handle this? Because I greedy to remove the eight. Is there an equivalent greedy? Um... Can it, I mean, the only question is whether that could be a 2 or not, right? Um, okay, so this is one way of doing it, but then now, th so the other thing is if there can be a 2, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've gotten this like another 5 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Basically, we just do, 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 right? I mean, just like this good function, really. Um, yeah, I think I might have, would have gotten it maybe, but uh, yeah, so ref, this is the shortest that we can do, right? So new shortest is equal to this. Um, maybe we do, 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 we take away one of them. And that's really it. Okay, so here maybe we, we do this as um, get short, which is just this thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so then now we have do 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 do, right? I mean, we actually we, we could even just do. Um, get shortest of f, right? So then here we can do uh, get short um, a is equal to this, b is equal to uh, get short of do 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 do, right? S same idea, really. But, um, yeah, and then uh, now, no, you, you need a six, I think, here. I, I, I just didn't even consider six, really. I think you're forced. 
maybe. Yep. I don't know if that's true actually, but uh, yeah. I mean, this is still wrong because I have a 7 here instead. So something's a little bit off. Um, what, what did I have before? I had, okay. I think I just, the 3 just disappeared here, so something is very wrong on this one. Um... Yeah, so we take we took a two. Yeah, I'm so up. I'm, I'm so. I mean, I yeah. I mean, I'm watching this even now, but that that's why. But still, so, okay. So, do 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 right. Um. Also, I have to do some things to make sure that this is possible, but I think it's by length, so the, the minute is wrong. I think maybe this is... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just... Uh, so close. But, uh... Alright. Regroup. The shortest is already going to be... Da -da 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 -da, right? And now... If length of B is equal to shortest, then we just return B. Otherwise, we just return A. I think that's the biggest thing. Right? I'm surprised that... Hmm. Okay, so this is F on one of them, and this is F on the other. We're moving at 2. We have... Seven eights, and then you have one two left over, and then we have one three left over. So I think something is very funky here. Um, hmm. Like what is this? This is a four. This is a nine, right? So you have a four nine. You want a four nine over three six or six six? So I think this should be right. I don't know why. This is actually returning something funky. Um, but I mean, I, I'm also just taking my time a little bit. Okay, so it's one one three. Why did I? How did, did I just miss something? Oh, did I not increment the right number? Oh, whoops! I'm just dumb. I, I just forgot what I was doing. Honestly, uh, I think this is actually. So I would have gotten it in like five minutes if I focused. Maybe. Oh, maybe not because this is this weird. Hmm. Why? Because. You have this number or this number. Um, hmm. Let's print A, print B on top of each other so we could kind of see. Uh, this is the wrong one, this is the right one. Oh, did I? I think I just returned the wrong thing. I think. Now B is the one with the short. So then why they're the same length? Oh oh because eh. no 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 what <laughs> I'm so confused. What is shortest? Twelve is the shortest, so maybe my shortest math is just wrong. Uh so maybe there's something wrong with this. What number am I forgetting? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I don't know. What? It's my shortest math wall. Is this not? Oh, well. Five and seven's right now. That should be right. So is this one? Why do I have 12 for this? I have 12 because we have um, one, seven, three, five. We don't care about those. So it's 23 and one. So this should be actually just like one. 23 and one should be seven, eight. And one, two, and one, six, right? So then that's just seven, eight, nine digits plus four, right? So what, what am I calculating? Hmm. I guess I, I maybe I was way been wrong anyway then. Um, hmm. <sighs> okay, short, short. That's eight. Is that eight? Seven plus one is eight. Yeah. Eight plus four is twelve. No, this is definitely thirteen digits. Am I factoring well? No, it's twenty two, not twenty one. So it's going to be seven plus. Yeah, okay. No, that's wait, twenty three. We if we take a six. We, well we don't take a six. If we don't take a six then we have two and one left over. So we have seven. No, I mean this still should be Did I take a digit off by accident or something? Should be nine, right? Wait. Two and one. Two and one. Two and one should be two, right? Hmm. Ooh, and one would giving me a one. Okay, well that is just wrong. Um, so I guess I have some other mistakes here. Two and one, All right? So two, zero, one. This should be whatever. And then six is gonna be one zero. So this is zero. Oh, I'm just dumb, am I? This is, I don't even do math here. <laughs> oh man, how? I'm very good at math. This is what happens. Okay. Well. Uh. Okay. I mean, it's still wrong for some reason, but uh. Oh, this is twenty for some. Plus one. Plus. One. Oh no no. This isn't plus two. This is plus one because you only take one digit. Okay. Uh. Still sixteen for some reason. Uh. Two one is giving me. Oh, I, I guess I deleted it. Okay. Is this right at least? I, I don't know how I forgot to, to adding stuff. So two, yep, that should be right. Um, oh man, I don't know how I forgot. Okay, so anyway, so then now we have... Um, Alright, so I guess we, we were off by quite a bit. Um, I mean, maybe we should have still gotten it, but still. Okay, 
uh, short. We think it's 16 here for some reason, but M should be 12 already, which I, that's a little bit high. To, all right, let me, I think I may have went by very fast on this one, so let's take a look on this. Um, yeah, that's just doing. Is this a max or a min? We want a min, right? Why did I get max here? I don't know what what is what is. I I think well, I definitely rushed this part honestly, but but uh, it's not great. Uh yeah okay. Wow, I don't know how I miss. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I was just wrong, really. But um, let's see if this is good enough for us to be right. Hopefully, it's close. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I need to do a couple of things, right? So, oh, uh, well. 112. Okay. 19 of 2. Oh, okay. Uh, so there were even more edge cases, so I, I was not close at all. But, um... Yeah, because then now... Oh, th this is just because of... Um, how do I even handle this? Honestly. Well, no, no, no. This 2-1 should have been... This should have been handled, actually. It's not a special... Well, uh, it's not a special enough case. So it should be handled here. I have a two one. Yeah. No, 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 this one. So then here is the same, no good. So then now if it's the same, then we go from two. Wait, right, we try a two. Uh, this is annoying to debug, but we will have to do it. It is what it is. So we definitely had a couple of issues, clearly. Uh, one and then a nine, which is weird. Oh, because one always returns true, because it thinks that one twelve is good. So I definitely did some math, or uh, not math, just logical wrong here. Okay. So it thinks that the one is good. Can I fix this? And can I put... But it's not big enough. That's why this is not good. Hmm. Do I have to digit DP this? Hmm. How, I, 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 it may be that I don't have solved this actually, but uh, but I, I mean I know what the, the I know what the issue is. Sorry, but hmm. I just assumed that one one two is going to be good, but then now, hmm. Oh, because I think I assume same is always good. Okay, so we have the same. And then it goes here. But the same logic has... Okay, so because if they're not the same, then we can do every everything else, right? It's true. Or we can just get the smallest if it is the same it has to be that prefix or whatever right so then that means that in the same then this good logic um has to be a little bit different 
but I don't even have to. Nineteen's <sighs> are a problem. I don't know. Like one nine nine one nine 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 or it doesn't have to be ones, but how do I handle that? Okay, let's say I I thought that it is possible, but then it turns out it's not possible. Then what happens? Can we rerun it? Hmm. Maybe I don't know how to do this one then. How do I? Because I don't know that this only have price. Because I think you can do something like, uh, like even one nineteen. So then we can't just like bind the increment. Um, so now it's one one twenty, one or whatever. Yeah. And if, if you try to naively put a 2 up there, that's not going to work. And then there's this thing with the multiple, right? So it assumes that you can do it, but it has to be bigger. But the multiple thing is not enabling us to do it. One nine, how do I? Hmm. Uh, uh, honestly, right now, I'm trying to figure out the two possibilities. One is just that maybe there's an edge case. Maybe this is an edge case that I have not been able to figure out. But alternative is that um, that maybe there, there's another algorithm in general, right? Which I have not really... Um, so I was not that close, actually. I was very well. <laughs> but... Um, So I don't feel so bad about not getting it now because I actually did not consider this case, and now that I am, I don't know how to uh, necessary how to do it. Um, let's see, one nine. Yeah, I guess the greedy thing doesn't work because it's the multiple. When it wasn't a multiple, um, then yeah, the multiple really messes it up. Unless I can solve it for a couple of multiple or something. Like, is it always a multiple of ten? Like, is that good enough? No, because then... Like, you could imagine it would be like... I don't know, like 119 or something like this, and then it... 
I don't know. Hmm. This is a yucky case. Because I don't know that my, my... This is the one that actually challenges what I think about this form. And then what, what we have like 39, right? Like we have 39, 2. The answer should be, actually, I don't know. The answer is whatever, 41, yeah. But here. So there are multiple ways to kind of look at it. All right. So you have to be able to handle that. And you have to ha handle that, like, yeah, but you can't try it on everyone because we have like one nine one nine or something. Then now, what's the answer here, right? Like one two one one or something. Oh, actually, did not expect that. But but that. Uh, what was my input even? A one nine one nine. Okay, well, let's give a second, right? I mean, I, I think this was before I did this shortest thing. So let's say that there is... That means that there always exists a solution of length. Wait, no, wait, okay. So that means that the shortest is shorter than length. Then that means that the answer is either length or length plus one. Right, like if we had 9999 for some reason or something. Which is what we did. As if shortest is too big. Well, if shortest is smaller than nums, then it's always possible. What if, what if shortest is equal to nums? Then it's always possible. Well, yeah, it's always possible anyway, but with a one prefix, is that right? I guess that's true. If shortest is equal to nums. Okay. So then now, for the equal case, we just have to figure... The prefix still is so weird, though. Uh, like the one nine one nine case is a weird case, maybe. Um, like I don't know. I'm trying to think whether it's enough to like just roll this over, or do I have to do it like on the earlier digit? Like, there's still a case where it's something like this, but but it goes to 2000, right? Something like that. 198. Or is it always good enough that... Um, like, I don't know, honestly. Like this, it should be a case where you can force, right? But it's four digits. Uh, I can't do it though. I mean, but that's because I'm dumb. But okay, so 10, 10, maybe 100. 2255. Five. And I'm wrong here. 
So if this is a case where we cannot um, just increment this to 1960 or something. Okay, yeah. Um, and you can really try it for every digit. Because that's already like a techno tech thing, and it's like really bad, that bad. And becomes n square, and it's the number of num digits. Is it though? This isn't all of n, this is all of 1. No, but then you have to follow it through, right? No, I, I think this is... You could do like a sub-digit DP-ish thing. Um, because then now... Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe I could do like a same answer, zero, do, 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 do. and here, if same is good, then we have same, do you have to consider two solutions the entire time, maybe, is that true? Yeah, I don't, I think, okay. Uh, I, I thought this could be whatever, but, uh, well, I think one thing that we notice is that we have two, three, five, seven, so maybe we can just abuse that. Maybe. Yeah, I thought, I mean, the greedy, I mean, I, I didn't really think about DP because I I focused on the greedy solution, but uh, yeah, let's actually open it again. I, I'm going to restart this problem. Um, only 12 people got it? No. Really? No, I thought I saw a full page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 54th, uh, it's okay. Okay, let's say if this is DP, what would look like? Kind of similar to this, right? Um, okay, let, let's recap this. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is basically 2357 anyway. So we can do it this way. And uh, now, okay. Um, what if it's digit DP, right? Uh, this, I'm too tired to kind of start a new thing, but, um, okay. So, yeah, I mean, okay. So we just have a digit DP. We have digits left. We have whether the prefix is matched. Um, number of twos, threes, fives, sevens. Right? Okay, whatever. Um, <coughs> okay, so if we write out digits. I mean, actually, well, I don't have to go back. I have this thing. 
Okay, I think this is actually still right though. The uh, the shortest thing. Okay, let's just copy and paste this part. <laughs> And then, yeah. Okay, I think this is right, but I could be wrong. Who knows anymore? Okay, so then after that, it is just about um, if it's exactly the number of digits. So then, okay, so then now if then what do we do? Right. Um. Yeah. We return if two is is. is Then we're good. Wait, how do I do it? No, it's just that if this is possible, right? So maybe you're not supposed to return the thing in the thing, right? And then we do the loop that we did before, I suppose. We just kind of replace it with a DP. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, actually, I guess we can copy and paste this part too. It's just that the good function is different. Right. Did we move the good part? Uh, or X and left. What is X again? X is the current digit. Uh, which we can do this. And then now. Okay, so we basically do this, and then now the good function it's a little bit different. And then we can say it is possible if it is possible to instead of having this function now good is going to be you go to um, good go of what was it oh, left go of left exactly um, prefix is this see and let's just take p. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, right, and then now we basically try to see if this works. Okay, 
Okay, so yeah, um, I'm just trying to think for the one to one nine or oh, nineteen case, right? So then, basically, we have um, do I have to? Oh, these are the okay. So there's two, three, fives, and something, and then the prefix and the left. Yeah, the index of left is weird, but okay, fine. I mean, technically, it should be now I instead of left. It's just the index. It's a little bit easier because then I'm doing double negative otherwise. Well, no, yeah, no. The reason why this has to be left is because so that you can do the D plus one thing. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is then. So then now the current index. Okay, so I'm thinking for the 19 case. So in this case, then This is actually very weird. Wait, that this is um, this has to be if same and this. Yeah. What was my self smallest again? I think uh, I, I am too tired for this. Um,
Uh, I'm sorry, friends. I'm just a little bit tired. Um, well, a lot tired, really, honestly. Um, I try to think about. I mean, I think this idea is still right. Actually, the not necessarily greedy, but just the one digit at a time thing. Um, I think I just didn't think about it in DP because I thought there's a greedy way to do it, but um, clearly the greedy way is not right. Uh, with the one nine case, and I'm just trying to think through what, what the one nine case means for me. Um, when I try a one, I, I don't have enough to throw the rest, it seems like. Um, yeah, okay. Well. Okay, whatever. Uh. If it's prefix, then we want to see if we can do left my oh uh, left yeah left minus one. Still prefix is true. And then the value, right? So here, man, this is so annoying to write. Uh, okay, D is equal to num sub. minus left or something uh, the get smallest thing we we'll have to we'll have to figure it out how to handle it but This plus one actually. I'm trying to think through like the, the extra digit case and how to handle it, but maybe that's just premature. Let's focus on doing it one by one. Okay, so D, right? So then now, uh, eh, I mean, maybe it is just, uh, yeah, I oh, don't know. Eh, 
So I have to do an if statement, I think that's what I'm trying to figure out. Right, so D. 1.f uh, Maybe I could do something like um, and These are just requirements, so I think these are fine, but uh, I think I have this stupid m function that I had And then I can just write something like, um, eh, what's it called, lookup. One, we just take nothing. Yeah. Two. I could find why the why the loop to do this. Uh, I am just being really dumb today, maybe. But this is also like not that bad, I guess. But my question is then now. Okay, right. Does that have to be strictly bigger than no it doesn't have to be. Yeah, um okay, so then now uh yeah whatever R is equal to look up of D, right? And then this is just gonna be this minus R sub zero R sub one Plus of two, plus of three. Make sure that this is at least zero for the purpose of caching. And I think we're okay here. Okay, right. It's prefix. So if this is good, then we keep going on the prefix. If this is good. If this is good, then we return true, right? Uh, okay. Um, otherwise, then we try a loop, right? So from the prefix digit, Okay, I think this is actually okay, conceptually. Okay, and then else we have, uh, well now we just try from one to 10, so it's the same loop, except for it's one to 10. Yeah. And then otherwise we return force, right? Maybe this is roughly whitish. I don't know about this one. Let's just we skip this part first. Uh, the comment also doesn't even work anymore, but that's besides the point. In valid syntax, is that true? I mean, they tell me that is true, but uh, oh, what I I mean, yes. I don't know why. I, I don't know anymore. I could barely keep my eyes open, honestly. Looked up of one. It's because it's a digit, so. Uh, yeah. Document not defined, I guess so. I don't even know if I need or this quite like this anymore, but yeah, I don't know. But either way, I guess for now, just keep it. Uh, we'll adjust if necessary, right? 
Okay, I mean... <sighs> not great. Well, I mean, this one's right. That's kind of okay, I think. But uh, it's a start. We, we have to start from somewhere. Um, I don't know how to do the extra digits yet. Um, I, don't I have more? Oh, the inputs are here. I was like, I, put, I have a lot of inputs. Uh, okay, so I mean, we're, we're wrong in a lot of these things. But um, hopefully we're making some progress. I mean, it's also right in some places, which is good. Well, I, I think some of these is just the the, uh, the things that are here. So I think that's maybe lying. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, actually, honestly. Yeah, a lot of these are, are kind of lying. Um, we have to get it. We have, we have to fix this one first, at least. Um, yeah. Maybe we can add some like prefix zeros or something, and then kind of play around with it, but. <sighs> Okay, yeah. Uh, well, let's fix this part first. 1488, uh, 4444. Is 4 a good answer? Probably, but we, we have to try a 1. Why is the 1 not no good? Um, yeah, this thing will always annoy me, honestly, but okay, fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we'll clean it up later, but okay, so. Da -da 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 -da, right? So we have the prefix. It's very awkward. Okay, so then uh, here I try a four. Well, I try a one. Why? Why doesn't the one work on here? Alright, let's just remove all the other ones we already have. We have. Okay. Uh, is this even at least right? Was that twelve or well, four times? I guess this is actually technically right, but hmm, a little awkward though. Uh, I don't know that we try a one, so this is a one. Um, okay, so we try a one. I guess this is no good, but uh, yeah. What happens when you try a one? Du -du 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 -du, nothing changes. Okay, so we do this thing, right? and then here. Um, so it's going to be. Four, three, or three digits left. True. And then three, fours, and three. Oh, wait, no, 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 not one, two, four, 256, right? So that's just a lot of twos. So one does nothing, and then do 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 do. Hmm. Right, let's, let's just try x left p g. Alright. Um. So g is good when it's four, but not one. Okay. That's what I thought. Why is this no good? One, three, um, hmm. 
I mean, this only should have whatever, but. Okay, so when we try a one, a one, a two, we have eight of these. Is that right? That seems right. Two, one, zero. Is my, am I off by one? Maybe I'm off by one. No, I mean, maybe. I mean, still maybe, but. Um. Yeah, now it's not close at all. Okay. Um this is hard to read honestly that's why i'm like struggling a little bit but okay so what do we do we call this afterwards right so okay let's actually uh sandwich this um so one we think is force no this is a two um so this is a, okay so this is what we think of force we call three Three digits left, is that right? Maybe this is off by one is why. No, three digits left is right. We have eight, right? And so this. We try the second number, which. Uh, okay, let's actually then. Um, if, if left is zero, if this is wrong, I guess, because if left is zero, then this is still a rounded number. So that's just wrong. Should be left is equal to negative one, which is kind of awkward. Left is. Okay, with left is n, this is going to be negative one. So the first digit, no, yeah, this is off by one. So then when we start at, yeah. Okay, I mean, it's still wrong, I guess, but I'm surprised it doesn't complain, honestly, but um, yeah, okay. This one is the second digit. And the prefix, right? Fine. The second digit is two. That is actually right. Three, four. And that is going to be return force. What we want it to do is it goes 488, right? So that means that the sec on the loops, it goes to, what is it, one, two, so then it goes into three. So it should be good. Should be three, three true. Okay, so it's like one, what? It should be, it should run this folder, right? So then now. Um, it's a two. 
but then it tries to do 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 and it goes all the way it should be one four right so it should go three okay so it thinks that the one is force so this returns force this returns force Where's my good function actually? Oh. This returns false. But it should return true. So then now the next digit should be a four. Um so then that means that it should go to um this thing, but minus two. So that means that it should be I want to say three. Why? Why is there only one three? My, oh no no, this one I guess makes sense. No no no, no it doesn't. And as it returns true, but it returns false. So that means that one is not possible. But why is there no fold up on the second digit? Um, am I doing this wrong? Well? Okay yeah. So left. Okay, eh, I am really bad today. Sorry, friends. Um, left prefix. No, the one is right. So then that means that left is going to be three true, and then after that, oh, three true. This is true. So then now we try um what's it left what's left three so that means that here we should try two force two force things right so two force eight is i don't know a digit so two this should be true right because then now you subtract three twice so this should go to one, one force three, which it doesn't seem to do. Uh, the prefix now. Two four six should be one force three. It doesn't seem like we go there though. Oh, this is actually bottom, so am, am I doing this wrong? Yeah. No, 8 is 3. Alright, well, let's try to take a look. Alright, right. what am I putting? So we want to see with we want to see two four okay two four how come we don't see two four right, so we want we see Say two four eight. Oh no, two four six. But only one force four. Not one force three. Why? Oh, because we just don't print it. No, no, we print it here. Hmm. Two four six. Okay, let's see the two force eight. Where's the two force eight? 
Okay, two force eight. We try four. Why is the eight not working? Or is that a different eight? No, wait. Two four six. And I choose two four yeah. No, I don't know why this is not recursing on eight. Oh, that is, this is what happens when you'd manually do it yourself. I got too used to thinking that the third element is the second, and then I just, I don't know, I even stared at it a little bit, um, and I kind of got it wrong. Okay, fine. Okay, so maybe this is right now. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's right, but it's more right, is what I wanted to say. Uh, huh. I mean... This is actually surprisingly good, honestly. Um, I'm just missing the one of the extra digits, which I didn't consider um, because, well, I just didn't consider it. All right, so then now how do I do it? Well, can we add a prefix zero? Would that work? Oh, yeah, and then do, 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 do. I'll look up. Uh, I guess it doesn't have any impact, right? It doesn't change the answer. But it can be an answer. We just, yeah. Um, if R is equal to zero, uh, if R is greater than zero, uh, Oh, if D is greater than zero, right? If D is greater than zero, we do this thing. Otherwise, everything should be good. Okay, maybe. Okay. And now we have zero things. But we can remove that, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit awkward now, actually. But we could str just strip out the leading zeros. I mean, we, we can also just strip out all the zeros, but I think leading zeros is good in that. Um, in that, it, let's make sure that we're not being dumb in other places, maybe. Okay. Um, is there, a, wasn't there a case where I have to add two zeros? Maybe, is that a thing? <laughs> I thought I was so close with this one, but, um, and maybe I was, but I think some of the idea is right, but it's still, uh, let me, I'm just trying to get rid of print statements, hang on, and I'm going to YOLO submit. I, I mean, I think there is still an edge case about, like, maybe I need two zeros um, for, but I think maybe the shortest thing handled it for me. I don't know. Um, like, there may be a, a wearable number of zeros that we have to handle as well, I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, let's yellow submit. I mean, I'm not hundred, not that confident at all about this one, honestly. But uh, oh, this is just wrong though. So that's good, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. What four t times nine times five is one sixty. So one eighty is just way wrong. Why is that so wrong? Why is that so wrong? Do 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 do. Hmm. That is actually wild. Do I handle the multiples correctly? No, I mean, I think I do. And it's not a leading zero thing. Okay, so we start with a four. That looks good. Okay, fine. One. Oh, 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 it can be zero. That's why. T is greater than zero. Oh, then I don't return true. So. Yeah, we just don't solve this. What, what are you doing? So, well, it can be if, I mean, there's, there should be no zeros. That That's why something is a little bit messed up. But prefix zeros are okay.
So that means that Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I want to say that you can change all the zeros to once, but that's actually I think that's true actually, right? Maybe for the input because Because you cannot have zeros in the input, but then now you sort in a different order. So I don't think you can just re replace zeros with ones. But that means that you can. What did I do before? Oh, before I just try every number. Right? So I, I, I mean, what did I do before this? If it was zero. Maybe I was just wrong still. Huh. Let's look at my old code. That's why I kept it here. Like, do I just mess up somewhere? Huh. I, I guess I have some points there. So I guess I still mess up there. So, okay. So I didn't really handle it. Um, but we cannot add a zero. So that means that... Um, yeah, so okay. So leading zeros maybe? Leading is equal to... True. So same as the prefix, and then now. Now what do I do, right? So, yeah, if leading. If I is uh, mm, yeah, we can just whatever. If if this is equal to zero and leading, then we can, we're fine. Otherwise, we're no Gucci. How do we know when we're leading? We're leading as soon as we get a number that is not zero, right? So that means that, um, yeah, uh, this is so annoying. The way that I wrote it, I mean. Uh, okay, so if this is the same and it goes all the way up, so that means that has to be the same. Otherwise, by definition, right? So, okay, so yeah. If it's equal to zero, then it's fine. Uh, otherwise, if num sub i is not equal to zero. Oh, I mean this is either this. Okay, if this is equal to zero, then if leading, then we're good. And then there's this else, so if it's anything else, we're also good, but we also want to re uh, reset the leading zero. Um, Okay, uh, 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 did we fix all the other ones? Maybe. Let's go. I'm a little bit lazy on this one, honestly. Uh, one time, I, oh, I print, did I print out too much stuff? No, I have. Oh, no, no, because I, uh, I, I do the strength thing to, to, to remove leading zeros because I'm lazy. Um, oh, no, it's not even leading zeros. Well, I use this to remove leading zeros, but uh, eh, okay, that is just silly. Um, because I, I do, there's no zeros to be removed here, but, um, but yeah, well, maybe this one is apparently, but, uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, left trim or something like this. Is there a left trim in Python? I feel like there is, but, uh, I'll strip. Uh. Maybe I should have done that. L, L strip is zero. Uh, is zero a possible answer? I don't think so, right? No, so. So maybe this is fine. All right, that was a, uh, I mean, uh, this is, uh, that, I'm annoyed at that particular one because I actually make that mistake like a couple of times. Uh, so it's not like it's the first. Okay, okay. 
I think it's because I do this trick though. So I I don't know. I don't know if this is. Um, I think maybe we can we remo we move this for a little bit um tighter code. Um, we might have to add more zeros, but um, I don't think this is right now. Uh, just to be clear, because I think there's a there yeah, like this one. You have to add multiple digits, um, in the shortest way. Um, but maybe I can just add enough zeros to handle it. Um, I don't know. Uh, times num times uh, length of num. No, well, the the worst is sixty, right? So we can maybe just do like times like sixty four or something, but whatever. Because it could be just twos. Can that work? Is that cleaner? Uh, what to this one? Let's give it yellow submit. It it does make things slower, but oh ah, uh, why is that? Wow, that is a pretty big input, which I guess is fine, but. But why, why would it be that slow though? I guess we just save enough time, that's all. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we had this one. Because um, basically this is the case of... Um, well, it doesn't even have to be, right? Because it could be a multiple, so that's why this is the thing. Um, I guess you can probably brute force the first digit on this one, maybe. I mean, just I mean, this works anyway, apparently. So, um, yeah. But it's actually way funky. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, we kind of did this part because I kind of brute forced this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the, it, it's a very awkward case analysis, but I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I mean, the I was actually kind of like very close to being right on this stuff, um, but. Yeah, I wonder why it did. I guess, I guess it just t changed it to n times sixty, which is already too big, as a case. Hmm. Okay, I could buy that as to why it times out. How long does it take now? Um, well, six, seven seconds, which is not great, but I think that there are probably optimizations that we can do. But I don't know. I don't even know what, what is this answer anyway. It's just a lot of ones. That is weird though. I would imagine all the ones... Like, they shouldn't be that long if it's all ones to get a possible answer. Is it timing out on other things? I mean, th this particular case, I don't think it times out. But... But I think on the other one, it was, like if I just did this times 60, like why, why does that time out? Does it time out for the in, this input? I don't think so. I mean, it, it may be the, the input that it finished with. Uh, yeah, apparently not. Wait, why does this? Oh, no, no. Well, yeah, because now I still have this code, right? So, of course, it's still not going to time out. It just... 
Uh, I'm still pretty fast. Did I mess something up? Let's try again. I mean, maybe a time. I mean, I guess at 6.7 seconds, it's just a little bit slower. To, it's enough to time out, which I, I guess is just lead code being silly, honestly. I think this is actually fine. Um, like in a per test case basis, I think this is fine. It's just that, um, yeah, the aggregate of all the input, it's a little bit slow. But uh, yeah, because uh, if you look at this, it's yeah, I mean, it, it, this is actually, no, I guess this is a pretty bad input. Because um, then now I do try 60 times N and 60 times N is a little bit slow for sure. I mean, I wish they, I mean, I don't know why they did it this way. It's, I don't know how you can do it without it per se, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can maybe, but I don't know. I mean, that's just, like, I feel like Lico is just like a very silly case. Um, like, the, like if they had made N, um, I don't know, just like a little bit smaller and everything would be fine, right? So, Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this prom, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.